A reading from Isaiah 53. Just watch my servant blossom. Exalted, tall, head and shoulders above the crowd. But he didn't begin that way. At first, everyone was appalled. He didn't even look human. A ruined face, disfigured past recognition. Nations all over the world will be in awe. Taken aback, kings shocked into silence when they see him. For what was unheard of, they'll see with their own eyes. What was unthinkable, they'll have right before them. Who believes what we've heard and seen? Who would have thought God's saving power would look like this? The servant grew up before God, a scrawny seedling, a scrubby plant in a parched field. There was nothing attractive about him. Nothing to cause us to take a second look. He was looked down on and passed over. A man who suffered. Who knew pain first hand. One look at him and people turned away. We looked down on him, thought he was scum. But the fact is, it was our pains he carried, our disfigurements, all the things wrong with us. We thought he brought it on himself, that God was punishing him for his own failures. But it was our sins that did that to him, that ripped and tore and crushed him. Our sins. He took the punishment and that made us whole. Through his bruises, we get healed. We are all like sheep who've wandered off and gotten lost. We've all done our own thing, gone our own way. And God has piled all our sins everything we have done wrong on him, on him. He was beaten, he was tortured, but he didn't say a word. Like a lamb taken to be slaughtered and like a sheep, being sheared, he took it all in silence. Justice miscarried and he was led off for me, for you. 
And did anyone really know what was happening? He died without a thought for his own welfare. Beaten bloody for the sins of my people. Beaten blood for me, for you. They buried him with the wicked, threw him in a grave for me, for you. Even though he'd never hurt a soul or said one word, that wasn't true. Still, it is what God had in mind all along. To crush him with pain. The plan was that he give himself as an offering for sin, so that he'd see life come from it. Life. Life. And more. Life. And God's plan will deeply prosper through him. Out of that terrible travail of soul, he'll see that it's worth it and be glad he did it. He will see me. He will see us. Through what he experienced, my righteous ones, my servant, will make many righteous ones, as he himself carries the burden of their sins. Therefore, I will reward him extravagantly, the best of everything, the highest honours. Because he looked death in the face and didn't flinch, because he embraced the company of the lowest. He took on his own shoulders the sin of the many. He took up the cause of all the black sheep. This is the word of the Lord.